peaches? Welcome back to Dear Peachy. We all know that makeup is the most crucial step to help us to achieve the style that we want. However, a perfect hairdo is definitely the step you shouldn't skip to complete your look. So, we will be bringing something new today. We have been talking about makeup all the time in our channel, so it's time for hairstyling tips. Before we begin, we would like to introduce a new term to you guys. The term? High cranial top has become a highly discussed keyword in the China's aesthetic trend for the past two years. Well, personally we didn't find this term being explored and explained in the western beauty world. We realized that it would be helpful if we can share it with you guys. So what does high cranial top actually mean? And how it can actually affect your overall look? Let's find out together in this video. As usual, we will be splitting our video into three parts. Part 1. What is high cranial top? Part 2 to identify if you're suitable for high cranial top hairstyle. Part 3. How to achieve high cranial top hairstyle. Part 1. What is high cranial top? The famous celebrities that have high cranial top are Jenny from Blackpink and Crystal Liu. The China beauty experts found out that high cranial top can actually make our face look smaller and our facial features to look more prominent and delicate. Besides that, high cranial top can also help to focus people's attention to the area between our brows and eyes. So this will be very useful in enhancing our face shape. Now you must be wondering what is high cranial top. Cranial top is actually the distance from the top of your skull to your hairline. People with high cranial top will have equal distance for the area between your brows to hairline and the area between the top of your skull to your hairline. Which in other words, the proportion for both areas are in 1 to 1 ratio. The high cranial top hairstyles have become the aesthetics pursued by many girls in China. But does it really mean that girls with low cranial top will not look as good as girls with high cranial top? Well, there are a lot of celebrities are with low cranial top, such as Dilly Rabbit, Park Min Young, and Jessica Jung. However, with low cranial top, they still look stunning. This is because high or low cranial top is just two different styles. Ain't no one of them is considered more beautiful than the other. Lower cranial top will make you look sexier and more mature. On the other hand, High cranial top will make you look younger and cuter. Low or high cranial top are equally beautiful. You just have to understand yourself to find which style suits you the most. Part 2. How to identify that you're suitable for high or low cranial top hairstyle. First, we would need to look at the level of your eyes. Take your phone and turn on the selfie mode. You would need to relax your face. Stand further away from your camera. Now look straight into the camera. Relax your head so that the level of your eyes will be somewhere around half of the length of your head. Take a picture of it, and zoom into that picture. Draw three lines on the top of your head, eyes and the base of your chin like this. Observe the level of your eyes. Is it somewhere around half of your head's length? If your eyes are more leveled above, then having high cranial top would be useful to enhance your appearance. If your eyes are more leveled below the standard ratio, you would not need to increase the height of your cranial top because overdoing it will make you look like you are having a big head. Second, the length of our face. For girls who have longer face shape, increasing the height of cranial top will actually increase the visual impression of having longer face. Celebrities with long face shape such as Rosé from Blackpink and Jung Rio Won. You can definitely tell that their stylist did not want for the high cranial hairstyles for them. Third, the width of upper portion of our face. The upper portion is the area from our hairline to our brows. If your upper portion is wider than the lower portion of your face, high cranial top hairstyle might not be suitable for you. Korean stars like Eugene and Park Min Young have wider upper portion too. Having high cranial top hairstyles will make our hair look more voluminous, so this will make the upper portion of our face look wider. After checking with the three main steps above, have you find out that which hairstyle that you are more suitable with? High or low cranial top? Moving to the last part, Part 3, How to Achieve High Cranial Top Hairstyle In this part, we found a very useful tutorial by this beauty guru named Curry to show us how to get the high cranial hair due in just few simple steps. First, you will need a hair straightener and a crimping iron with the size of a finger's width. Remember to get the smaller size one like the one that she is showing here, but not the big one like this. Before she begins, she asks her followers to look at her low cranial top. She says she usually sees tutorials teaching viewers to use bigger size crimping iron to section your hair and clip all the way down like this. However, this doesn't really help with increasing the volume of our hair on the top of our cranial, but increasing the volume at the side of our head instead. Doing this will also make our face look bigger too. 
The area that we need to volumize is actually here, the middle part of our head. If we pull up our hair at the middle part here, the proportion of her face looks much better. Now, she will show us how to do it correctly. First, section your hair to the side. Just take a small strand of hair from this side and part it to the other side. Secure it with a hairpin. Then continue to section your hair from your mid hairline. Move your finger slightly around 3 to 4 cm to the side and section it. This will be the region that we are going to make our hair looks more voluminous. Take the crimping iron and clip it close to your roots. You have to be extra careful for this step to avoid burning your scalp. Then go over the layers with the same step. Then, remove the hair pin and fix your hair. Look at the difference. Look how fluffy is it after this trick. She says if you have really flat cranial top like hers, you can further enhance the volume of your hair by using a hair straightener. From the same strand of hair, take that section was not crimped just now. Lift it up and clip it in a C-shape motion like this. Clip it and go over it in a C-shape. Look! Then wait for it to cool down. You can now see the middle of your hair here is lifted. Look at the difference. This is really not edited, guys. Look at the side profile. It looks great from the side too. This trick will not make your head look big but it still keeps your face look small. Look at the final look. The middle part here is lifted but the shape of the sides of our head still remain like this. When you're done, you can spray some setting spray on top so that your hairdo can stay well all day long. What if you do not have any straightener or crimping iron with you? No worries. Here is another tutorial that can help you to achieve high cranial top hairstyle by just using simple tools that we all have at home. Tip 1. Use a bump up hair clip and secure it close to the roots of your hair. Then hide it with layers of hair on top of it. Look at the side with bump up hair padding. Her cranial top is definitely lifted. Tip 2. Get a big hair clip and a hair finishing stick. Take a small strand of hair from the top of your head. Apply the hair finishing product at the roots of your hair. Secure with hair clip. Lastly set it by using hair dryer for a few seconds. Remove the hair pin, fix it a little and now you have high cranial top. This trick can help your hairdo to stay for long hours and it will not lose its shape easily. Tip 3. Use a headband. Use your finger and estimate around 8cm from your front hairline. Section your hair and place the headband over it, and tidy up all your hair into a bun or ponytail. You will need to wrap up the headband under your hair. Push the headband slightly to the front to volumize your hair. Push it to front so that you can achieve high cranial top effect. You can also push at the sides too. This will enhance the shape of your head. Look how natural the messy bun look. Time to learn these tips because it will make so much difference to your overall look. What do you think about our video today? Do you prefer yourself in the high or low cranial top hairstyle? Personally, I think both are gorgeous. It is all about finding out what suits you the most. So have fun trying them out. Tell us in the comments section if you're going to learn it and try them out. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again in our next video. Bye.